Have you ever been working on your code, nearing the point when you would make a breakthrough, and all of a sudden, a distraction comes along? An urgent email, a mind-blowing tip from YouTube, or an unexpected need to tidy your sock drawer could all be sources of distraction. While you are aware that you should commit your work, you also understand that the beautiful flow of code cannot be disrupted, right? This is where the Git stash becomes your hero. The stash is like a magic box for your uncommitted changes. It lets you temporarily shelve your work in progress without losing it, giving you the freedom to switch gears and come back to it later, refreshed and ready to conquer that coding mountain. Intrigued? Let's dive into the world of Git stashing and see how it can supercharge your development workflow. What is Git stash? Imagine you're working on a new feature on your main branch. You've made a bunch of changes, some staged, some unstaged, but they're not quite ready to be committed. Suddenly, a critical bug pops up on a different branch that needs immediate attention. Switching branches with uncommitted changes can be messy. Git won't let you do it unless you commit or stash those changes. This is where the git stash command comes in. Running git stash takes a snapshot of your current working directory, including all your uncommitted changes, staged or not, and even untracked files if you choose. It then tucks this snapshot away in a special area within your git repository. Now, you can freely switch branches without worrying about losing your progress. The power of stashing. The beauty of stashing lies in its versatility. Here are a few scenarios where it shines. Context switching made easy, need to jump on a bug fix or tackle a quick task on another branch. Stash your current work, switch branches, and come back to it later seamlessly. Cleaning up your working directory, sometimes your working directory can get cluttered with uncommitted changes. Stashing allows you to temporarily clear your workspace while preserving your progress. Experimenting freely, want to try out a risky code change without messing up your main branch? Stash your current code, experiment on a copy, and if things go south, you can always revert to your stashed work. How to use git stash? Using git stash is as straightforward as it gets. The basic command is simply git stash. This will take a snapshot of your current workspace and store it. By default, the stash will be named something like WIP on current underscore branch underscore name. However, the power of git stash lies in its various options. Adding a descriptive message, the default stash name might not be very informative. Use the M flag followed by a message to give your stash a more meaningful name. For example, git stash M fix login functionality. Stashing specific files, don't want to stash everything? Use git stash p which will open an interactive staging area. Here, you can choose which files to include in the stash. Including untracked files, by default, untracked files are not stashed. Use the include untracked flag to include them as well. Listing your stashes, want to see what's hidden in your stash cave? Use git stash list. This will display a list of your stashes with their corresponding names and IDs. Bringing your stash back. So, you've stashed your work, conquered that bug, or explored your experimental branch. Now, it's time to retrieve your precious code. Here's how. Applying a stash, use git stash apply to reapply the most recent stash onto your current working directory. This doesn't remove the stash from the list. Popping a stash, want to apply and remove the stash in one go? Use git stash pop. This will reapply the changes from the most recent stash and then remove it from the list. Dropping a stash, with caution, need to permanently discard a stash? Use git stash drop followed by the stash ID. Remember, this is a one-way trip. Keeping your stash organized. As you use git stash more frequently, your stash list can grow. Here are some tips to keep things tidy. Descriptive messages, as mentioned earlier, clear and concise stash messages are crucial for easy identification later.